Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 14th of 2020. Well, it is titled the colorful clouds of Rho Ophiuchi. So what do we see here? Well, this is a region around the sky in the constellation of Ophiuchus. And the star system in the middle of the blue section there is the Rho Ophiuchus. And that is a hot blue star. And the light from it is then reflected off of dust grains. So the blue areas we see are what we call a reflection nebula. And that occurs when light from a hot star is scattered off of the dust grains. And when this happens, the shorter wavelengths are preferentially scattered. So we see the blue light scattered in all directions. And that's what comes towards us. And the other colors like reds are able to pass straight through the dust. So it's a similar reasoning as to why our sky is blue. The blue lights get scattered and comes from all directions. And here we see the blue light scattered around the dust clouds there. Now we also see another type of nebula known as an emission nebula. And that's seen in the red and the yellow areas here. And that is because gas is being excited. So these are very hot stars and those hot stars emit a lot of ultraviolet radiation. The ultraviolet radiation can strip electrons off of the atoms. And when this happens the electrons will then recombine and as they do they give off specific wavelengths and that is what we see as an emission nebula. Now the third type of nebula that we see here is the dark nebula, the dark dusty areas, which are caused again by dust grains. But in this case, the dust is denser and actually blocks out the light from behind it. So the dark areas that we see are not an absence of material, but a presence of more material that there's actually more material there. Now the last thing that I wanted to mention here that we see is a star cluster and that is off towards the right hand side and that is the globular cluster known as M4. Now the globular cluster is actually kind of a, a, a glob of stars almost a mini galaxy and in fact we have a number of globular clusters that are scattered around our galaxy and are remnants of the very earliest formation of our galaxy. Some of the oldest objects that we see are these star clusters. They're massive enough that they're actually bound together gravitationally and remain that way for many billions of years, whereas many other clusters of stars that form do not have enough material within them to hold them together and they slowly spread out over time. These ones are physically bound together by gravity and will remain this way for long, long periods of time. So that was our picture of the day for October the 14th of 2020. It was titled The Colorful Clouds of Rho Ophiuchi. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.